Alright guys, how are we all doing? Welcome to episode 21 of Old School Completionist. So, starting off with finishing my AVNCs task. Um, I did most of it at Kriara, but I did the last few kills at regular AVNCs in the wilderness. Because um, I don't want to waste an ecumenical key on uh, just a few kills. Got a task of 15 Dark Beasts. I turned off the task extension, so that way I can just do these tasks really quickly. And just get some free points, basically. And I got a few shitty tasks from Duradel, it's gonna happen, but I'm the reason I'm using Duradel uh, is because he actually has better assignment rates for pet hunting. Um, so I have to change around my block list a little bit and stuff like that, but in general, uh, the assignments will be better. Got a task of 149 Dagonoths, which I'll go do, in, do at the DKs, and I had to charge up my liar, so I was using some raw sea turtles, which are quite a bit cheaper now than they used to be, now that uh, fishing trawler is actually being played by a lot of people, which is cool. So with the diary completed, I get five charges per liar, which is pretty crazy. And this this trip was really really good. Uh, you guys are gonna are gonna be impressed. Uh, so the first drop of the trip is a Sears ring after only a few kills, and a ring of life. We can just pretend that didn't happen, but you know it's it's all right. Archer's ring, two point eight mil, very very nice. So that is the second uh, real drop of the trip. Halfway to the Lord of the Rings, and there is a warrior ring. So we just seen a berserker ring, and it would actually have Lord of the Rings, and if not even very far into this task, so it is very much a real possibility. And a mud battle staff drop number four. Not exactly what we were looking for, but it's all right. You know, it's one one or two hundred k, not too bad. A second mud battle staff that is interesting. And dragon axe number one, dragon axe number two, <laughs> and dragon axe number three. Look at the drops in this trip. It's fucking crazy. I got a total of, I think it was 8 drops that I got, 3, 4, 5, 6, yeah, I got 8 drops in this trip, which is crazy. Most of them aren't worth too much, uh, but there are really only 2 drops from DKs that are worth much. Um, so just, th the the drops just kept happening, which is so much, it's crazy. So, take a look at the uh, total price check, it's really mostly just the Archer's Ring and the... Um, the Dagonoth bones that add up to the most of the uh, GP, but almost 6 mil for a trip uh, that took me maybe a bit over 2 hours, so... DKs are very, very good money. Uh, one of the best tasks to get, honestly. Alright, next task from Duradel is 176 Smoke Devils. That should keep me occupied. And an Occult Necklace coming in in 474 kill count. Task completed 860 for the 75-point uh, bonus. Very nice. And I got a task of Abyssal Demons. This was a couple days before release of the Sire. I decided to cancel it. Um, I did Cerberus Day of release, and it was really packed, and it was really, really slow to get kills. And it wasn't really worth it. It would have been worth it if I got a Crystal very, very early on, but... In general, it wasn't really worth it for my goals of the pet hunting, so I decided to not do Sire on release for that reason, just because it was very, very crowded, and uh, I really wasn't interested in just wasting a whole bunch of time. The drops were worth a lot, but um, I'm fine with not getting the money. So I got a task of Crazy Archaeologist, and did that very, very quickly with just three kills. Speaking of Cerberus, I got a task of Hellhounds, and uh, decided to break it up with a bit of Barb Assault. Obviously, this uh, minigame does have a pet, one in a thousand chance from Gamble, so it is actually the most time-consuming pet to get, uh, just according to the averages. Uh, it takes about 400 hours to get this pet on average with pretty good teams, so it's going to be a big one if I ever happen to uh, get this pet, but yeah. I believe I got my gamble count up to about 75. Uh, I had 40 pre-counter, and I've got up to uh, 35 on the counter right now, so we are 7.5% of the way to the drop rate. Very nice. Alrighty, well, only like 10, 20 kills into the task, we just picked up a Pacazian Crystal that's probably still like 5 or 6 mil, so that is amazing. Well, it's 3 mil, but that's still really good. Got a Jar of Souls, and this is the second Jar of Souls that I've gotten from this boss. I don't know what the deal is with that, but there's a task complete, and I was actually switching to the Crush style in the Hosta, because Ash actually confirmed that Cerberus is weak to Crush, which is weird, because regular Hellhounds are weak to Stab, but uh, it is weak to Crush, so Bludgeon will be that good there too. Got another quick Dark Beast task, and finished that up for the points. And I got a task of Vetian, or Vetian, however you want to pronounce it. I decided to do 35 of it, because, you know, may as well, it is one that drops a pet, and it was an interesting experience. This is one of the bosses that I've killed the least, um, and I've never really done it properly with the safe spot that's uh, available now, so... Um, yeah, I don't know, the boss is quite interesting. It takes a really, really long time to kill. I definitely think that... that uh, it shouldn't spawn so many minions, because that's really what it makes it take so long. If it weren't for that, then it would be kind of a reasonable kill speed. Um, the drops are very, very good. Um, generally speaking, it has a lot of drops that are really good, so... I, I guess in that respect it is worth it, but it is a very, very slow boss, which gets kind of annoying. And the PKers are really, really bad. I probably got PK'd like five times, and I'd say that there were about three failed attempts also just in that task. And it took me over three hours to complete, even though it was only 35, and it was just really, got really frustrating, but it was probably at the wrong time, it was like 8pm EST, 
Um, so I got a task of King Black Dragon, got some KBD heads. I think that was the ninth pair of KBD heads I've gotten so far, and uh, finished up that task for 1,067 KC. And I got a task of Barrows Brothers, which is kind of weird. I decided to do three since they're not a pet dropper, but it's a very fast task. And I was assuming it would be three Barrows chests, which still wouldn't take too long. And I was kind of curious to see um, how quickly I could do Barrows chests with a max gear setup, but ended up that it was only three Barrows Brothers. Um, so doing it, I guess if you actually wanted to do chests, you just do, you'd select like a multiple of six, so like 30. Um, but yeah, that was a very fast task for 5k XP, so not too bad. Got another task of Smoke Devils, 188. It's going to keep me busy for a little while. It's kind of nice. I like the assignment numbers of Duradel. Um, so I decided to check out the Abyssal Nexus, even though I didn't have an Abyssal Demons task, and I still haven't gotten one. Um, but yeah, it's a really, really cool looking area. I'm definitely really impressed by this boss in pretty much every way. Um, the Just the mechanics of it are really cool. The area is really, really nice. I think that Ghost did an amazing job, so big props to him. Um... As far the only thing that I think is a little bit lame about it is the drops. The regular drops are just so bad. Um, I mean, I can understand why. Like, if you look at the drop tables of like God Wars dungeon bosses, the regular drops are pretty awful, especially like Armadil. And then the rare drops are worth quite a lot. But if the Bludgeon ends up going somewhat low in price, this boss is gonna be is gonna be trash because without that good drop, it's just it's gonna be such bad money. And it's pretty slow kills too, um, but I think, I haven't actually tried killing it yet, but just looking at other streams and stuff, it seems like it is really interesting and an engaging boss fight, so I'd say overall I give this boss like a 9 out of 10. I think the drop table could be a little bit better, um, I mean, I don't, I don't think that it should be like consistent 2 mil an hour or some shit like that, but maybe like 1 mil an hour consistent and then you get the regular drops, um, that's how most bosses are in old school, so... Um, I think maybe they went a little bit overboard with the uh, attempt to balance it, but overall it seems really cool and I'm definitely looking forward to getting an Abyssal Demon task to try it out for myself um, and see what I can manage to get out of that. So finishing off the uh, Smoke Devil task for 814 kill count, I think I'm getting close to 2k total kills because I did quite a few pre-counter. Uh, Skipping the Metal Dragons and the Spiritual Creatures. And I got another KBD task, 55 of them this time. KBD heads number 10, and I decided to sell off my uh, Odium Shard and my Pegasian Crystal. Both of those are re related to ranged, and a lot of people were using ranged for the Abyssal Sire Day release, so they seem to be a little bit higher in price than usual. Uh, I didn't really end up getting anything too amazing price-wise for them, but I think the Odium Shard did sell for a little bit higher than it was uh, a couple days ago, so that's nice, but the Crystal, not so much. Um, but yeah, still a decent few mil out of that, uh, just those few items. I, I haven't checked the price of my loot tab right now, but it's definitely getting up there, getting closer to that Ellie. Alright, so there are a couple things I wanted to cover before the end of this video. The first thing is that I was nominated for two Golden Gnome Awards at RuneFest. One of them was Best Old School RuneScape Video Maker, and one of them was Best Old School RuneScape Video Guide. Um, and I didn't win either of them, but I the fact that I was nominated is pretty crazy to me, because I don't really view myself as like a big YouTuber, and I was kind of up against people that are much more well-established and stuff, so it was crazy to even be in like like put in the same bracket as those people so thank you guys very much for nominating me I think that that's pretty much how it works is people like chose to nominate me so that's really crazy so thank you guys for that I appreciate that a lot um, and I definitely think that I have a decent shot at actually winning one next year if I uh, continue to make videos and everything which I definitely intend to do so yeah that's really really cool and also I guess thanks to the people at Jagex for recognizing that it's pretty crazy to like hear my awkward commentary being broadcast out to everyone at RuneFest um, so yeah, thank you guys once again, that's really, really cool, and uh, I definitely will try to have more bits coming out, um, I've, and streams also, the reason that it hasn't been happening is just I've been so busy, every day my schedule just isn't regular, um, so I never really know what's going to happen, but I definitely need to work on that to try to be streaming more and be getting more videos out, so I will do my best uh, to make it so it's not just one video a week, because I, that's not really what I'm going for. Um, so the other thing I wanted to talk about is uh, actually about five weeks from now, I think it is, I'm going to be doing my first 24-hour stream ever. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to actually successfully complete 24 hours, but it's going to be for charity. It's going to be for St. Jude's Children Research Hospital, which is a research hospital uh, that does research for uh, life-threatening diseases in children, mainly cancer, and I think a few others. Um, I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want to read up about it and exactly what they do. But I want to let you guys know well in advance, um, because all obviously all the money that I raised during that stream will be donated to uh, St. Jude. And I'm doing it with a friend of mine who lives in Tennessee and is involved in fundraising for them. Um, 
so there'll be people from there watching and i think it'll be a really cool event um and he's really excited about it so he brought up the idea to me and it sounded like something that would be really cool to do and i've never tried to do anything like that before so i wanted to run that by you guys if you want to be you know i like to let people know well in advance for something like that if you're thinking about donating uh, but yeah i'll keep you guys posted about that and in future videos and stuff um but yeah for now it's slated for five weeks from now it's uh, november 7th and 8th and it'll be a saturday and into a sunday so hopefully a lot of you guys will be able to tune in i think it'll be really really fun Alright, I've done a fair bit of Castle Wars today, probably like 300 plus tickets, uh, and I'm at 2,055 right now, so I got my shield, and I have my plate and legs too, so that's 2,000, extra 55, and it looks really, really nice, and definitely uh, ready for Max Cape to come out, because I'm totally going to wear something like this with Max Cape, and it's going to look sick, um, but yeah, I'm over two-thirds of the way done with Castle Wars, just need to get the sword and the helmet, which will be another like 850 tickets, so I'm making pretty good progress with Castle Wars, and I'll probably get back to Calphite Queen pretty soon and uh, get working on that task. I just get, whenever I get a Calphite task, I'm kind of just like, ugh, because it just takes so long. But yeah, that is my current task right now, so I will get that done, and uh, that'll bump me over 2,000 kill count, and hopefully I get that pet pretty soon. It'll be very nice when I get lucky on, because it's really getting kind of tiresome. All right, guys, well, I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. I do have a new guide coming out in a few days, and I'm really looking forward to it. I think it's going to come up pretty well, so I'll let this be a sneak preview to what it's going to be. You guys can probably uh, tell, but yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to drop a like and any further comments, questions, suggestions that you have, and I will see you all in a few days with a uh, new secret, top secret guide, and I will see you on next Sunday with episode 22 of Old School Completionist. See you later guys.